In this video, I'll show you how to remove background noise in DaVinci Resolve. So, I'm going to show you a few different methods and then watch till the end where I'll show you a method that completely blew my mind when I think I found the very best noise reduction I've ever found. Let's see if it lives up to your expectations as well. So first of all, let's start with this clip. This is a typical podcast clip recorded in a noisy street environment. Right, so um, there's a skateboard uh, shop in Halifax it's called Pro Skates. Okay, so we can hear that there's background noise, there's kind of cars hooting their horns, all of that kind of stuff. Now, usually to do this, if I'm using DaVinci Resolve Fairlight, I would go into Effects here, and I would look for, there's a really good one actually down here under Restoration. This is where they sit, Deessa, De Hummer, of course. Noise reduction will work. Uh, let's leave it on the default settings and just see how that works. Right, so um, there's a skateboard. Eh, not much of a change. Okay, let's try and get rid of the rumble. So let's increase that rumble sort of area we're working on. Right, so um, there's a skate. Still not much. Okay, we'll go for both ends, the rumble and the hiss. Right, so um, there's a skateboard. Oh, he sounds kind of like real, like he's talking through a sock now. Let's try and pull the threshold off, maybe increase the attack and sensitivity a bit and put the ratio up. Let's try again. Right, so um, there's a skateboard. Let's crank the threshold right up. Right, so... Um, it's just sounding crunchy and awful. I think I could do a better job with noise reduction over in Adobe Audition. But that that is a basic look at how noise reduction works in DaVinci Resolve. But wait... I said DaVinci Resolve. I didn't say DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you're willing to pay the one-time fee to upgrade to DaVinci Resolve... Resol blah, 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 let's rewind. If you're willing to pay the one-time fee to upgrade to DaVinci Resolve Studio, and by the way, this is not an ad, I'm not paid to say this, um, you will find what I believe is one of the best quick tools for vocal isolation and background noise reduction that I've ever seen. So, and that really is not an overstatement. This does not need any controlling. It just does things. And it's called vocal isolation. Here it is on the track effects here for track one. And all I do is enable it. Okay. That's just enabled. All right. I didn't do anything else. Now let's play the audio. Right, so um, there's a skateboard uh, shop in Halifax it's called Pro Skates. That sounds pretty good. Right, so um, there's a skateboard. Uh, let's remind what it sounded like without it. Let's switch it off again. Right, so um, there's a skateboard uh, shop. Oh, and of course we've got noise reduction in place. So let's delete that plugin. Uh, that probably didn't give a true idea. Right, so um, there's a skateboard uh, shop in Halifax it's called Pro Skates. That's amazing. And then switching that off again. Right, so um, there's a skateboard uh, shop. In That's cool. I'm going to switch it back on and I'm going to go into the settings and dial it up and down as I play back. Right, so um, there's a skateboard uh, shop in Halifax it's called Pro Skates. That's insane. But then I thought when I tried voice isolation, did I just get lucky with the clip that I'm using? What if I threw a couple of others at it that were like real difficult customers? So let's get rid of that, switch off voice isolation for the moment, and we'll bring in my friend Nick, who was talking on the top of a high rise with lots of wind. Your competition, looking at them as Whoa. allies. Hear all that instead rumble? Instead of, you know, these competitors, these people. That so what will voice isolation do with this? Let's switch it on and play your competition, looking at them as allies instead of, you know, these competitors, these people. There's no wind and there's no background noise. What is going on here? This is like a magic one-click button. Now, of course, again, I can go in the settings and I can dial that wind up and down if I wish. Your competition, looking at them as allies instead of, you know, these competitors, these people. But that's insane. 100% switch on, done, set and forget. Click the button, voice isolation. Okay, so we got rid of wind and we got rid of some relatively easy background noise, but what if I throw the big guns at it? Here is a podcast recorded on an expo floor. Just listen to this without voice isolation on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. I am here at Farm Progress. Right, there's no way that voice isolation is getting rid of all that reverb and all that conference chatter that's going on in the back. There's just no way it's working on this. Or is it? Let's try voice isolation on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. I am here at Farm Progress Show 2018, and Switch I have off. a very, very, very special guest. I've Hang been on. looking to this interview. Let me introduce you guys to Jolene Brown. Welcome. That's insane. Wow. 
my mind is blown by that one tool. It's called Voice Isolation inside the Fairlight Editor of DaVinci Resolve. It really can do a tremendous job. You can dial it up and down if you need, but at 100 at max, it seems to do a good job all the way on even the most difficult of audio. So in terms of background noise removal, DaVinci Resolve Studio definitely has it in my opinion. It is a paid upgrade, it's a one-off paid upgrade, and it'll work really well in many, many cases. Uh, obviously, I've got loads of other DaVinci Resolve Studio uh, and DaVinci Resolve tutorials on my channel, so do be sure to check them out. In the meantime, if you have some questions, or maybe you found something that fo fooled this voice isolation uh, lovely plugin that seems to do wonders, maybe you found something that it wouldn't work on, let me know in the comments down below.